showing it off here. Yeah, that record does not truly reflect the talents of Jared Ryan. He's up here against Dimitri Pintele, who's making his debut, but, you know, a, a handy prospect with a decent kickboxing background. And straight out with some nice kicks. Half His moon kick straight away. Yeah. Beautiful work. A heavy right hand over the top. Jer pulls away from that shot and shows the, the experience he's got. Dimitri throwing hard here. He's going all in on these singular shots. No combo so far. Ryan gets a chance now to show off a little bit of that grappling, but finds himself on back the bottom. The, that shot was eerily close to the back of the head. Yeah, it was a bit of forearm landed as well. Could have been uh, another inch and it could have been an accidental or an inadvertent elbow to the head, but Ryan looking nice and calm. Dimitri coming out a very confident fighter, it seems. It will be interesting to see how these big shots will affect him as the fight progresses. Yeah, it's very difficult to carry that type of intensity over in multiple rounds, so. Ryan just uh, trying to uh, select what way he's going to enter and engage here. Has to so be careful. Good. Yes, so good at pulling from those big single shots. Yeah. Not getting hit with anything, but can't let Dimitri swing swing at him for, for too much longer. Yeah, you don't want to walk into one of those big, powerful shots. As I said, Pintele not throwing any combos. Everything's a single shot, and he's winding them up, which has given Ryan a chance to see it coming and just roll with it or get the head out of the way. But it, all it takes is one. There's clearly power in those shots. I like the feints that Jer is using here. I like the fact that he's sort of flinching and kind of twitching and make, giving Dimitri things to think about. And um, I want to see Dimitri trying to throw some feints to do something like that himself because Jer can avoid those shots all night. Yeah, setting them up uh, a little bit better rather than just throwing them from the hip like that would be uh, a better chance of uh, victory, a better method to victory for Pintele. But Jared Ryan, as you said, the, the feints are a great way of just getting that reaction from your opponent, keeping him guessing. So what you're also doing is you're keeping him reactive rather than proactive, which means there's less less window for him to, uh, to land one of those big shots. He overthrows there, and Ryan has connected to him, and he's around to the back. Slams Pintele to the floor. Pintele strong, gets back up, but finds himself back down on the mat again. Is he going for the hat trick? Ryan timed that entry beautifully. He's weighing on Dimitri here. About one minute left in the round. A really good tactic. Let your opponent carry your weight. Gets the hooks. 10 second clapper goes. Yeah, he's just trying to throw some bombs, land some damage. And Pintele in trouble there at the end of round one. A really exciting first round. He, he has equal opportunity to finish the bout, as we just saw. He came very close to getting to the back, or well, he did get to the back, but he came very close to, uh, to causing some damage, probably with a bit more time on the clock. He may have finished that fight, so. Yeah, an exciting second round in store, I'm gonna guess. The high guard from Pintele again. Looks like he's just waiting for the opportunity to throw one big shot and turn out the lights for Ryan. Has a little look down at the leg. Throws the kick. There's no setup. It's very clear what he's looking for. And because it's very clear, Ryan can see it coming and get out of the way. Although he found himself eating a little bit of that kick. For the second time, he's connected to the leg, but found himself on the bottom. Eating bombs. That one brushed off the head, that high kick. Ryan gets out of the second way, or the way of the, the, se the, way of the second kick, should I say. Dimitri really, really good in bursts here. He had a nice explosive burst of energy there and landed a couple of shots. Um, seems, to, seems to kind of pace himself and wait for these kind of bursts, but doesn't throw, doesn't have kind of a consistent output. Yeah, we're seeing a little pattern here where Ryan's getting to that leg and sometimes finding himself on the ground, but he managed to scramble back to his feet this time and he still has that connection to the high crotch. I like seeing Jer at lightweight more so than featherweight and below for, for day before Wayne's. This is a same day lightweight bout. Jer would usually fight at 66, but I actually prefer seeing him at, at 70. He's a bit fuller. Yeah, and that gas tank may, la, might last the three rounds a little better. He's staying connected to the body of Pintele here, and as you said earlier, wearing on him, making him carry that energy. 
once Jerry make... got this body lock, he's really finding success. And yeah. uh, making Dimitri the carry his more way. a threat from Pintele here. Ryan does well to keep the hand on the inside of his own body and not allow it to get dragged out behind him and isolated. He's putting the weight on his left shoulder. I like this. It's kind of like keeping the Kimura out of position. Yeah. He's given Pintele no room to go into, so he's, he's basically kept his own arm safe. Pintele's had to give up on the grip now. For a debut fight, I'm really, really interested. I'm really, really impressed with the, the kind of the confidence and the, the stubbornness of Pintele. He's not giving in here, and he's he's yeah. very, very confident, natural fighter. Ryan slides off to the side, but it just now, and he's on the back, and he's around the neck. We can't really see from the angle we're at, but I think he might be under that chin. Extending the hips. Are we going to see the tap? Switches to the body triangle. The leg is locked on the inside. Squeezes with all he has. Trying to adjust it now and get that leg to the outside. Top side triangle. Pintele battling gamely to stay in this fight. Jared Ryan just now just landing shots. Pintele has a two on one on Jerry's right arm here. And Jerry's using the left arm to land clubbing punches to the body. And a few to the head, although... Yeah. Is covering up. Switching it up between body, body, head. He's following the instruction from his corner. And again, a strong finish to the round. And Jared Ryan, what a scrap we're having here. Look at the faces on both fighters. Ryan barely breathing heavily at all. And Dimitri taking some big deep breaths. Dimitri's going to be very dangerous in the early stages of this round. And Ryan's going to have to just watch, mind his P's and Q's for 30 seconds or a minute. And then try to get a hold of Printelay like he did in those first two rounds late on. This is the sort of performance that we saw Jer have in his last bout against Johnny Duggan. Um, a really good fight, yeah. Yeah, Johnny Johnny has incredible striking and, and light in his feet with this kind of taekwondo background. And uh, I think Jer's kind of more having more success with the kind of more plotting style of, of Dimitri. They're right in front of us here. Watch the eyes of Printelay. He looks down right before he throws the leg kick and Makes it a little easier for Ryan to read. Ryan fires back with one of his own. And we can see the wind up. We can see it straight away. Pull the hand back momentarily. Ryan got out of the way before the, the big shot came. Just telegraphed shots. There are a lot of power in them. He can tidy up some fundamentals there. Shoots for a takedown of his own and gets it. But Ryan back to his feet. Walks straight into a head kick. There's big heavy shots landing. I like the style of wrestling from Jerry, really using his attributes. It's kind of more shorter style. Or shorter stature, I should say. Pintele jumping on a guillotine here. I'm interested to see where his hands are. I don't think he has full connection. But he's on it like a dog with a bone. Drops down to his feet, which means he didn't really have a confident grip. Jared Ryan taking a couple of deep breaths now. It's been a frenetic start to this third round. Jerry's supporters in attendance here are going crazy. Yeah. Yeah, the atmosphere is picking up now because this is a cracker fight and that was a great check. And there we go again. Ryan doing very well. He's reading when those kicks are coming. Checks. Turns the corner excellently and gets Pintele to the mat. Side control. Yeah. No danger from this guillotine because he passed that guard very intelligently. And now we're looking at that connection to the body again on Pintele. Really intelligent work from Jared Ryan. Jer's hook in the back of Dimitri's left leg. He's going to get that left hook in, and there it is. Yeah, excellent, excellent pressure grappling. There's that second hook. Again, he's high like he was at the end of round one. We might see him attack that arm if he feels like he's sliding off. He's going for that Sue left stretch. He's thinking about that knee bar, but excellent work defensively. From Pintele, really good bout here between these two guys. Ryan now on top. Is he going to land shots, or is he going to attack that submission? Pintele covering up, so Ryan basically peppering them with shots and trying to soften them up and create an opening. We might see him then slide that arm in under the neck once he does it. 30 seconds or so for Jer to work. Yeah, he's a little high to get the rear naked. Elects to slide off and come straight back on the attack. Pintele just too tired to get up now. Needs to stay out of the way of this triangle potentially. I think Pintele may just be in survival mode. And what a three rounds of action, Niall. Unbelievable fight. Brilliant scrap. Early, early prediction for fight of the night. What yeah. an amazing scrap. That was a banger. Smile. <laughs> <laughs>